Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hero Handmade Crochet YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to make these beautiful floral earrings. This is very easy to make. Before we get started with the project, let's see what are the things required to make this. I'm going to use these two colors today. This material is 100% cotton and size 8. And we need two hook ear wires and two of the 6 millimeter jump rings. And I'm going to use 0.8 millimeter crochet hook. We will also need a yarn needle to hide the tails of the project and the yarn cutter and also the plier to attach the hook ear wire and the jump ring to complete the earring. These are the things we need to make this pair of earrings. So let's get started with the project. I'm getting started with this color. Make a magic ring to start. And then we need to put a stitch to secure the magic ring. Insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through the ring, yarn over and pull through the loop. Now our magic ring is ready. We are going to work into this magic ring as the first round. First round is going to be 12 single crochets into the magic ring. I will show you how to do that. Insert the hook into the magic ring. Yarn over. Pull through the ring. Now we have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through two. This is the first single crochet we have already completed and then we will go ahead and work the second one. Insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through the ring, yarn over and pull through two. This is the second single crochet. The third one, insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through the ring, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Now we have completed three single crochets over here. Just like this we will continue until we get 12 single crochets into the magic ring. Now I would like the magic ring to be a little smaller. So you can just pull this tail a little to make it smaller. Now we will continue to make the other single crochets. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 and 12. Once we complete 12 single crochets into the magic ring, you can pull this tail tight to close the magic ring. Just like this. Now we are going to join the round by working a slip stitch on top of the very first single crochet we have done over here. So insert the hook into the very first single crochet, yarn over, pull through the stitch and pull through the loop. Now we have completed our first round. If you count you can see that you have 12 stitches all around and then I'm going to pull this tail a little more tight to close it properly.
just like this and then we are going to start working with the new color start by working a slip knot And then we can just pull the slip knot loop through the other one, just like this. And then we will just tighten it up a little and we will start working with the new color. First chain eight, yarn over, pull through the loop. This is the first chain again yarn over and pull through the loop this is the second chain again yarn over and pull through the loop this is the third chain four five six seven and eight after completing eight chains we need to work a triple stitch into the fourth chain from the hook one two three and four this is the fourth chain from the hook yarn over twice and insert the hook into the fourth chain from the hook yarn over pull through now we have four loops on our hook yarn over pull through two now we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through two now we have two loops on our hook yarn over and pull through two now we have completed a triple stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. Now we need to work another triple stitch into the same chain. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull through the chain. Now we have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two loops on our hook yarn over and pull through two after completing two trebles into the first stitch we are going to work another treble into the next stitch yarn over twice insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch now we have four loops yarn over pull through two now we have three loops yarn over pull through two now we have two loops yarn over and pull through two And then we need to work a double crochet into the very next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops. Now we have two loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. And again, we need to work another double stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch now we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through two of the loops again we have two loops yarn over pull through two loops now we need to work a half double crochet into the very last chain over here yarn over insert the hook into the last chain yarn over pull through the chain now we have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all three loops now you can see that we have completed the first petal over here to join the petal what we need to do is just skip the first stitch here and work a slip stitch into the second stitch insert the hook into the second stitch yarn over pull through the stitch and pull through the loop this is what we have done so far now we can just cut the tail of the other color yarn just leave a little tail and cut it off 
and we will continue to work the other petals as well. Now chain 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And then we need to work a treble stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is the fourth chain. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the fourth chain. Yarn over pull through the chain. Yarn over pull through two of the loops. Again yarn over pull through two of the loops. And yarn over and pull through two. And we will continue to make another treble into the same stitch. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over pull through two. Yarn over pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Now we have completed two trebles. Again work another treble into the next stitch. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the next chain, yarn over pull through the chain, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, again yarn over and pull through two. Now we need to work a double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, again yarn over and pull through two. And we will work the next double into the next stitch, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And then we need to work a half double crochet into the very last stitch over here. Yarn over, insert the hook into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. After that we need to join the petal. Skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch. Insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch and pull through the loop. Now we have completed our second petal as well. We will go ahead and complete the next petal also. Chain 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And then we need to work a treble stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, and four. This is the fourth chain. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook into the fourth chain. Yarn over, pull through the chain. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, and pull through two. Again work another treble into the same chain. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the same chain. Yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. After that we need to work another treble into the next stitch. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over and pull through two. And then we will work a double stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now we have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we have two loops, yarn over and pull through two. Again, work another double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, 
Yano pull through the stitch. Yano pull through two. Yano and pull through two. And then we will work a half double crochet into the very last stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we have completed that petal as well. Then we will join it. Skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the second stitch. Insert the hook into the second stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch and pull through the loop. Now we have completed three petals and we will continue to make three more petals. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then work a triple crochet into the fourth chain from the start. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the fourth chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again yarn over twice and work another treble into the same stitch insert the hook into the same chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two after completing two trebles, we need to work another treble into the next stitch. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over and pull through two. And then we need to work a double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Again, work another double crochet into the very next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the very next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And then we need to work a half double crochet into the very last stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the last stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop. Now we have completed four petals we need to work two more petals chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight work a treble stitch into the fourth chain from the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the fourth chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Again, work another treble into the same stitch. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Then we need to work another treble into the next stitch. Yarn over twice, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. After that, we need to work a double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Now another double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. After that we will work a half double crochet into the last stitch. 
yarn over insert the hook into the last stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through all three loops and then skip one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through and pull through the loop this is the very last petal we are going to work here chain 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 then work a triple crochet into the fourth chain from the hook yarn over twice insert the hook into the fourth chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two again work another triple stitch into the same stitch yarn over twice insert the hook into the same stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again yarn over and pull through two and work another triple stitch into the very next stitch yarn over twice insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again yarn over and pull through two and we need to work a double crochet into the next stitch yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two again work another double stitch into the very next stitch yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then we need to work a half double crochet into the next stitch yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over and pull through all three loops now we have completed the last petal as well and then to join the round what we need to do is just put a slip stitch into the starting point of the round over here insert the hook into the starting point yarn over pull through and pull through the loop and then we can just leave a little tail and cut the yarn off Now we can see that we have completed the flower and you can use your yarn needle to hide the tails of the project. Insert the yarn needle into few stitches and then you can thread the yarn needle. And pull it from the other side and we can just cut the excess piece of yarn just like this we will continue to hide the other tails too
now you can see that I have completed the flower and then we need to attach the jump ring and the hook ear wire we can use the plier to attach them into the earring to complete it so we will just open the jump ring using the plier and insert that into the place we want it to be attached like this and then we will put the hook ear wire also in and just close it by using the plier. Now we have completed the earring. I hope I have explained all the instructions clearly for you. If you have any question regarding making this, you can comment on the comment section below. If you like to watch many more tutorials like this, you can just go ahead and subscribe to Hiro Handmade Crochet YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.